you know, <clears throat> this is a case of, well, like I said, it looked like they're trying to bust the, this overnight uh, stop here and test that 87 and a half. So, so that target is achieved. Anybody that has wiggled into this for a couple of points, make sure you get something. Uh, 15 minute chart is in play. And we said this last support low in here is key. And this last support high is key. So this is the box that we're working on right now. And if nothing else, this will excite Charlie. So, so that's pretty much the frame that we had talked about, right? And keep an eye on time. And we said if you do a measure, right, from this low to this high and you want to come back and say, say do a 50 back, that measure we said should be around 87. And you never know when 88 is close enough or not. So, so this is, you know, this type move from, from this swing low to this swing high and back to the middle. Um, this had really, at, at the 89 zone, has been respecting yesterday's middle. So if, if you're a big trader and you like swings and swing middles, the easiest thing to do is just go put this low and this high and do your, your mathematical calculation on it. At any rate, um, we said good possibility that, you know, this 87 and a half and this 9375 were, were the current uh, battlefield before you start worrying about, you know, 1800 or anything else. So I'm going to be looking for evidence again today of support being found and trying to get up above the rain line on the five minute chart. We've had it hold once, we've had it hold twice. Third time, it usually isn't so lucky. So it, it will be important at the open. And, and because of, of this kind of craziness, you can't really trust these, but you can see your longer term ideas. You can see umbrella type trades. So certainly on a 15 minute chart, we've got the umbrella there. On a 30, we're still under that. So we're going to keep this as our, you know, aggressive resistance zone. And like yesterday, it comes shooting out, you know, and then bangs right into it, comes down, makes a new low, and then fails under here. So I don't want to assume anything other than for now, we still need to respect this idea, test this. If we break this zone, of course, anything down here is available. But I would be very careful. Uh, about assuming we can just plunge like yesterday. The market very rarely does the same thing twice in a row. Um, I like the 240 chart. I think this chart is a very important chart for us. So far, uh, this, you know, we've rotated, so we're under the blue line now, and we're above this pink line. So the natural range is in here. <clears throat> and the magnet that I said earlier, we got a magnet at, uh, what, 80. 75. So, you know, we're, we're within one tick of that. So coming into, you know, after 9 o'clock, you want to start to think about anybody that's made some profits will want to, you know, cover something. So congrats if you got a couple of points in this, and, and I would say I'm thinking fairly neutral for now. And yesterday's range just shows how treacherous the market really is. So magnet there is about a tick away. And according to um, Murray today, the 96.75 is certainly a player. And then the 89, a player, and then obviously our 81, the quarter, 82 zone. And for now, anybody that's got something, you really should take profit. That's, that's my advice. And if you have a trailer and you think you've got a winner, fine, that's up to you. But 
you know, this blue line is starting to level out, which, which speaks more to a bit of a range. And certainly I, I'm going to stay focused on the T40 again today. So we had said plus or minus 92. Um, first primary target hit already. 